好，我是 Wanda， 欢迎收看 STV。今天我们请到了一位非常特别的嘉宾 ，Fortify 的创始人林南先生。Fortify 是一家用最前沿的 3D 打印技术来重新定义房屋建造方式的公司。他们把创新、高效率还有可持续发展结合在一起，为未来的住宅带来了全新的可能。今天我们就要一起来聊一聊 Fortify 是怎么用科技改变建筑行业。林先生，非常欢迎您来到我们的节目。Yeah, thank you so much for the introduction. 我想问一问 Fortify 呢？我知道在加州啊，率先推出了 3D 房屋打印的技术。那您能不能向我们介绍一下公司呢 ？3D printing is not anything new. It's actually been here for a very long time. You know, I want to say the technology has been here for ten, fifteen years.、Mm-hmm. And then just、uh, California is a very difficult place to actually do business,、mm-hmm. and so. It's very difficult to bring new technology here、right. to challenge an existing industry, right?、Mm-hmm. And then we created Fortify to specifically tackle the challenges of the housing crisis in California and to also address some of the challenges with the old construction industry.、Mm-hmm. There hasn't been any intense innovation brought、right. into the industry itself、right. versus any other industry、mm-hmm. is currently being disrupted. Or be merged with some type of technological advancement. Yeah, I, I know it used to take a much longer time to build a house. So、mm-hmm. now I'm sure the technology is helping. What、well, we, we should we should incorporate technology、right. with building a house. Right, totally. But we haven't. Right? right, it's the same same process、right. for the past however long, and、mm-hmm. it just doesn't make sense to me. So we、mm-hmm. created this company to bring innovation to the construction industry. 那么我知道呢，三 D 打印在建筑领域啊，仍然像您刚刚提出的，仍然是一项非常新的技术。那么 Fortify 的核心技术有哪些突破，让我们的整个建筑的过程可以更高效、跟更精确呢 ？So what it is, it's a robot helping a person. We're able to use the preciseness and the accuracy of machine and computers. To assist humans in building a house, it's not that we're not completely taking over. The robot's not doing the whole thing. It's just helping in part to construct a home. 那我知道您在尤巴县打造的首个微型社区呢，是受到了广泛的关注。那这个项目给您带来了哪些重要的经验或者是启示呢 ？In Yuba County, they were very, very helpful. I noticed that they want to push the project forward.、Mm-hmm. They want us to do this, and they want the project, so which is extremely helpful. But some of the challenges we actually found were other people in the industry who are not familiar with the industry,、mm-hmm. or who thinks robotics are here to take over jobs,、mm. and then, so there's a lot of pushback on that front. And also, it's very specialized. These houses are specialized in the sense that you don't just—it's not a, a brick house. It's some type of concrete house. But the process of making this concrete house is layer by layer, right?、Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of structural details and challenges to that. Everybody. And every trade need to know what they're doing in、mm-hmm. order for this to be successful.、Mm-hmm. And if you don't, if you have somebody who is off,、mm-hmm. or someone that's challenging your process and not participating and、mm-hmm. not trying their best, it could prolong the process for a very long time.、Mm-hmm. And then, given this first house, twenty-four days from dirt、mm-hmm. to finish, fourteen feet high.、Wow. So it's fourteen feet at twenty-four days. And then that's actually really slow. Outside of the twenty-four days. It took us about 110 days to deal with people.、Uh, yeah. What if there's no people challenging you guys? How many days would you take? I think the same house we could have put it up in 15 days. That's fast. Three、mm-hmm. D 打印啊，它改变了地基、墙体、管道和电器施工的方式。那么这种整合式的建造方法是如何提升整体的施工效率的？ We didn't really change the process. If you look at how the construction process works, it's still the same thing. We have to excavate,、mm-hmm. right? Dig out the foundation, the、mm-hmm. footings, and then we stub out the plumbing. So all of the plumbing、mm-hmm. runs into the slab and it sticks out.、Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the machine comes. And then when we build the walls with a 3D printer, we drop the electricals from the top into the cavity of the walls、mm-hmm. because the walls two layers. There's an outside layer wall, and then there's an inside layer wall.、Mm-hmm. In between, there's an open cavity, so we drop the electricals in the open cavity, and then the electrical boxes are already inside the walls while we're building the walls. Versus a traditional, let's just say, drywall, right?、Mm-hmm. You have to cut the opening and then put、right. the electrical box in, and you have to screw it in. But for us,、uh, during the printing process, we directly cut out the portion where the、right. electrical boxes go and then stick it in.、Mm-hmm. Nine seconds. It's more precise too. 
oh, in terms of technology. Yeah. Extremely, yeah. During construction, there's a standard uh, deviation that's mm -hmm. allowed, right? Mm -hmm. Because contractors, they're doing everything by hand and measuring tools, mm -hmm. so humans can still be off a little bit. It's accepted mm -hmm. in the construction industry. However, with the machine, it doesn't go off by even 0.001. It mm -hmm. is very precise. 那您的住宅强调耐用性和安全性,我知道。那您能否分享一下3D打印混凝土,房屋是如何应对火灾啊,风雨等极端的天气呢? Right now, California has an issue with fire. Mm -hmm. And then we keep on building these wood houses. Right. One burns down, you, you build another one. Right. Are you working for the insurance? Like, what are you doing? Like, what are these people doing? Why create the same type of housing mm -hmm. if you know that these natural disasters will continue to come? The right. fires aren't going to go away. Mm -hmm. So you have to find different ways mm -hmm. of construction, I feel like. Mm -hmm. These homes, they are fire resistant water resistant, pest resistant, uh, wind resistant, earthquake resistant, anything mm -hmm. that is that nature will throw at you essentially is resistant to it because it's made out of concrete. Right. Our, our test results mm -hmm. on the compress, compressive strength of mm -hmm. concrete is 75 to 8500 PSI. Mm -hmm. State regulatory standard is 3,500 PSI. Right. So the strength of our concrete is more than double that of the state minimums. Mm -hmm. All right. And then in addition to that, we have uh, insulation in between the wall cavity. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely resistant to temperature transference. Right. So it's very hot inside. It doesn't mean that it will be very hot mm -hmm. outside. If it's vice versa, the, like the temperature doesn't really transfer. So right. all we need to do as people who are living in these houses keep ambient temperature. Mm. The house will be like cool if you want to or hot if you want to, but mm. very low energy cost. Uh, you also save on electricity because the house is so efficient. Mm -hmm. um, it's also bulletproof with the ballistic oh, testing. Nice. So we, we couldn't get through the wall firing single or double shots mm -hmm. for any type of rounds we have given we didn't test uh, 50 cal, but any other bullet type, it couldn't really penetrate both of the walls. Wow. The only way that I got through both layers of the walls, we used a fully automatic machine gun. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, you know, these are extremely it's totally safe products. Safe. So, right, so, so, right. Yeah. so um, I know when you purchase a tile, usually we will look at disclosures. And termite yeah. is a big issue to a lot of our yeah. pest consumers. Yeah, termite pests. If you're buying a brand new house, you won't see anything. Right. 5, 10, 20 years later, there's always some type of damage somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. But termites, mice, whatever these small pests, they're not going to chew through concrete. True. 那么我们对普通的购房者来说,3D打印住宅,它在成本啊,舒适度跟长期的价值方面有哪些的优势? From a consumer's perspective, right. right? So if you're buying one of these houses, your savings, I don't think it will be from the pricing off the bat. The pricing is derived from comps. Mm -hmm. So what are the houses around the cost? That's most likely what's going to cost uh, to the consumer. However, mm -hmm. where the savings are, you're talking about long-term savings from insurance, mm -hmm. right? Your insurance cost should be dramatically less. Right now, California has an issue with the insurance. However, with these homes, insurance companies would like to insure these homes mm -hmm. due to the fact that they're nature resistant, pest resistant, water and mold, whatever issues insurance companies have with homes, they don't really have it with these houses, right? Mm -hmm. So they're savings from insurance. And then you're talking about energy cost. Uh, when I first doing research on 3D printed homes, I visited the manufacturers and also completed products. So the homes that they have already built. Mm -hmm. And then I compared uh, their energy bill. So the 3D printed houses energy bill is about half mm. of the surrounding homes. So you're gonna save on insurance, you're mm -hmm. going to save on energy bill, mm -hmm. and then you're going to save on headaches, right? You mm -hmm. don't have to worry about pests, you don't have to worry about all these random things mm -hmm. that happen to normal homes. Long term wise, there's a lot of savings. Normal homes are rated to be 70 to 80 years. These concrete homes are rated to be 120, 130 years. So it's beneficial not only to the developers, but also to the consumers. To the developers, we're able to put up these houses extremely fast with less labor, right. less material cost, mm -hmm. less cost. So there's a lot of benefits to uh, the developer as well, as well as we can scale by acquiring more machines. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to 
you know, you, you're talking about a normal home. How many sets of trays do you have to go through, right? You're talking mm -hmm. about somebody doing flooring, someone doing paint, someone mm -hmm. doing drywall. You're talking about 30, 40 people that go through that entire house. Mm -hmm. But for these, once highly trained, you need about three to five people per home per machine. 那么我们知道呢，加州啊，在住宅方面呢是面临着短缺的问题。那 Fortify、yeah. 可以怎么解决这个问题呢？嗯、um, ，Right now we're building the first five,、mm -hmm. and then we have another nineteen in Sacramento.、Mm -hmm. We just secured a contract. We're on phase one right now of a twenty-acre, seventy-five to one hundred and fifty duplex development in SoCal.、Mm -hmm. So we're doing our part.、Mm -hmm. However, we can help scale the technology to other developers. You know, our idea is once everybody is fully trained, we work out all the kinks. Each machine can build about eight to ten homes per year.、Mm -hmm. Each machine requires three to five people, and then for us to scale, we just acquire more machines. So the idea is to have ten machines on each site, building anywhere from eighty to one hundred homes a year,、mm -hmm. and to have all the machines on site at the same time is going to be extremely efficient. Just imagine this giant conveyor belt printing one house after another、mm -hmm. after another. 我们最后啊，想看看您是怎样看待未来十到。五到十年，三 D 打印住宅的一个发展的趋势。另外就是 Fortify 希望在行业当中扮演怎样的引引领的角色 ？For Fortify and 3D printing, we're just here to contribute. It's not here to completely take over, nor can we, right? Entire、mm -hmm. industry.、Mm -hmm. However, we are here to provide a solution for the people that want it.、Uh, if you like wood houses and、uh, you want to continue building them or living in them, that's perfectly fine. But if you want to look at Uh, innovation that's applied to construction industry and live in a home that's eco-friendly, that's,、um, I guess, nature resistant, and even for landlords, the turnover on these units are going to be far less than those of a traditional unit because you're not going to have tenants making holes in walls.、Uh, we we don't necessarily need to have carpet either. We could just have a raw finish, polished concrete and rugs. The turnover will be far less than that of a normal. Uh, rental products, and then for us, I view 3D printing, Fortify. We're just presenting a new tool for contractors,、mm -hmm. right? It's like kind to driving a car、uh, versus riding a horse. Right? <laughs> We now drive cars to work because it's more efficient, it's easier to do. And so, with 3D printing, it's going to assist contractors build homes more efficiently, more accurately, and stronger homes. So, why not utilize a new tool? Not everybody drives cars. Majority of people do,、mm -hmm. uh, but in the very beginning, from horse to cars, I'm sure there was a lot of pushback, right?、Mm -hmm. And so, on 3D printing, most people are fearful of the unknown. However, when this technology becomes more abundant and more knowledge is passed around about what it is, how it is, and how to apply it, I'm sure people will be more receptive. Totally. 那么今天呢，很感谢林先生给我们讲解了很多关于三 D 打印住宅的一些知识啊，让我们知道呢，三 D 打印住宅其实是提高了我们的效率啊，也是对我们的社区一个非常大的贡献。那么 Fortify 呢，是在我们这个行业里面为我们树立了新的方向，非常感谢林先生。那么我们希望您的团队可以继续取得巨大的成功。Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah.